other pilots on the field at the weekend asked me, do you really know what the output power of your fancy Express LRS module is? And I had to say, no. And they say, why? I'm a ham radio operator. Owning equipment to do such measurements, but I never did them. I ordered the module, I flashed it, and I used it, and I was happy. I had no fail safe yet, so why I had done that? But they asked me, and here we are. I did a calibration run to set my spectrum analyzer to be accurate. I calibrated out the cables, the adapters I had to use, because my analyzer uses N on the module is SMA. I had to run two adapters, a small RG174 cable, etc. But that's a different story. Get into the measurements. We are the Lua script. That's the way everything I set. I flashed Edge TX to my TX18S I'm using with the touchscreen, but it's the same on OpenTX. You enter the Lua script, you go to the power, set it, you can set 10, 25, 50, 100 and 250. And uh, that's what I measured. Here we see 10 milliwatt. You see this uh, table top uh, output. It was done with max hold mode, is the name of it. And you will see later why I had to do that. If you are not familiar with uh, analyzers, etc. That's not really important. But what is important? What do we see? And let me say, I'm really impressed. Happy Model did a great job on the output power. What you set in the Lua script is what you get on the SMA connector. I'm not sure. Is it happy model? The others are the same. I have no idea. Is it the development? Is it the, the reference design? I have no idea. I'm not so deep. I was never in the Discord. I've never talked to, to one of the team. I just ordered it flashed it and used it and i'm really really happy but back to the power measurements 10 milliwatt or 10 dbm i set five markers the first one is always a little bit higher you see on the calibration run later in the video why that is but let me tell you this is really accurate 10 milliwatt 10 dbm i'm impressed the next one is 25 milliwatt, 14 dBm. And again, beautiful signal. I also analyzed the signal itself and it is really, really accurate. It's, it's good. Let me make it short. It's, it's a great piece of hardware. I really can recommend this one happy model i have not measured or, or seen one of the namimnos or the the beta fpv ones i only own this one and i'm really really happy i have two of them i measured both both are the same and that is good they are not from the same order i ordered first one and to get one in in the backhand i ordered three weeks later a second one maybe it's from the same batch the first one was with this horrible white case that's not good but i think they don't ship that anymore and that's that's fine the second one comes with this black beautiful molded plastic case you can put a fan on it i never i don't do that i it's it's not really getting hot on 250 milliwatt so why use a fan I live here in Germany. We don't have 50 degrees uh, Celsius outside, even in summer. At the moment, I'm sitting here on 90 degrees. It's totally overcast. It's we have a strange summer this year, but that's also a different story. Coming back to the power measurements, you see 50 milliwatt, 
17 dBm and again accurate. So we jump to the next one. 100 milliwatt, 20 dBm and the same again, again and again. So we get to the 250 or 24 dBm one and it's the same. <laughs> it's a little bit higher than 24 dBm. That's fine for me. 0 0.3. That's absolutely fine. A little bit higher. I prefer a little bit higher than lower. I think you are the same. Get a little bit more. But 0 0.3, guys, that's really inside of the specs. I have not seen... Uh, uh, a plus minus or whatever I, I think they only say 24 dbm uh, 250 milliwatt yes i know the nimimno they say 500 milliwatt but i also know if you set the nimimno on 250 milliwatt the fan turns on and that is something i'm not sure i i would like that and on 500 of course the fan is running also the Happy Model 1, you only can run on 250. There is no fan. I have I never had temperature problems the last weeks. I, I was out in the field and also flew it here inside. I, I had I never had problems. I bought it, I flashed it, and it works. So maybe you never before have seen uh, such graphs from a spectrum analyzer this is a screenshot of my calibration run uh, it was on one milliwatt zero dbm and here you see the first marker is a little bit higher i could calibrate that but i was fine with this 0 0.4 i had that is in my mind and so uh, that was fine for me and i hope it's also fine for you and the last one maybe that is important for you this is what you see if you are fast on pushing the the screenshot button let me say i reset it the analyzer as i see that was in max hold mode i reset it put it back in max hold and pushed the save button to get the screenshot and in the time, that was really a short period of time, uh, um, 300 milliseconds or so, I, I'm not sure, was it a second, that is the readout of the analyzer. And you see the, the different frequencies, the module is doing its frequency hopping. And this frequency hopping is the reason why you can fly with your friends out in the field without thinking about uh, uh, causing problems to your friend because you are maybe you are sometimes for a short period of time on the same channel but the frequency hopping is doing such a great job it's in germany or in europe not sure what areas also of the world it's first listen and then transmit i know in the states it's i think it's the, the totally different way it's simple transmit i i could be wrong please write in the comments uh, if you know exactly how it is in the states here in europe it runs first listen and then and then transmits so if there is a frequency in use it over hops it is that the right word yeah i call it that way and yeah these are the different frequencies you see from the frequency hopping earlier when we used 35 or 72 megahertz we had a little blade on the flying field and uh, the man or the pilot who had this little uh, plate only this pilot was allowed to turn on the his radio or her radio and uh, yeah by accident sometimes it happened that some other guy turned on his radio he was on the same frequency and your aircraft whatever it was fail saved and most time horribly crashed 
thank God we have this 2.4 gigahertz frequency hopping style since years and that makes it so much easier. But that could be a different video. For now, I say stay safe, take care, and as ham radio operator we say 73 and hope to see you in the next video. Please subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss one of my super duper videos. Bye, take care.